Gaming Authority. What's up, dudes? I'm Pimo. I'm D-Bag. And we're from Always Tipping. JP extended another invite to, you, to us, uh, third video. So we're pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. He invited us out to the company retreat. Um, there's no one here. Again. Yeah. So I don't know if the dude's just messing with us or what. I mean, he's like, hey, guys, come on. That's not really his voice. I, I don't know why we keep falling for this. I don't honestly. either. He's, I think we're a running joke. His buddies are watching us on some hidden camera, <laughs> just laughing it up. Yeah, those, those schmucks. They're in an abandoned. I was like, this. the playground is abandoned. The, yeah. the amusement park's abandoned. Yeah. But he insisted, so whatever. We're probably going to need a tetanus shot after we leave, but we're, we're bringing you a fire blitz today out of the Cover 4 lock. Mm -hmm. um, we developed it. Um, it's the only play in the whole uh, the whole game that does what it does. Yeah. Um, it's phenomenal. So go ahead and check it out, and we'll touch base with you afterwards. Big nickel over G, Cover 4 lock blitz coming at you. So... We wanted to show you guys the setup. We're doing it against an empty set <clears throat> just for the simple fact that you, so you can see everything. I tried to move the camera back. Um, that was your normal play art uh, for the four lock. And all you're going to do is crash your line outside. And we're going to show you step by step here. Then you shift the line to the right. It has to be to the right. That uh, free safety goes comes down to the line, which is perfect because that's who we're blitzing. Only in cover four lock. That's it. By the way, that's it. That's you know, this is the only play that it does this in. So we developed a blitz for it. Um, you're gonna go ahead and blitz him, as you can see there, and you're gonna go ahead and contain. Now, the last step, or you're gonna want to that three wreck is gonna be worthless uh, because it's not gonna read uh, the coverage is right with the um, the cover four side. So what we do is we man him up to the inside most receiver on his side because that's typically who your opponent is going to throw a drag to um, or hit him quickly. That's going to be his first read, more than likely. So we man him up, but you guys can do other things. You can spy him. You could hook curl him, whatever the case may be. You could deep third him. I mean, yeah. whatever you want to do. <laughs> then we individually press our lockdown corner. That is very crucial, and we'll show you here in a minute because – if you manual, if you press the whole defense, it screws up the blitz because the free safety will retreat back. Um, so then we're going to use our blitz in this particular scenario. Um, so because we have, we usually use our, the guy that's manned up on the slot to the left, um, but we're going to use our blitz because he gets through faster. So with the turbo, you want to try to stay still as possible until the hike. But look, you come through. Look, and, and our edge pressure gets there. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. So it could be a five- or six-man blitz. Um, so basically it's – and here we're going to show you that if you press the whole defense, what happens. So there's our setup that we just showed you guys. Um, and if we press the whole defense here, if you notice, see the free safety goes back. So it screws up the whole thing. So do not do that. Um so now these are just going to be plays showing against pistol. I think this is pistol bunch tight end. Look how fast that comes wow. in. He doesn't uh, even have time to drop back. No, he wasn't even done with his, uh, yeah. what was that, five-step drop? Yeah. Three-step, I mean, still. So here he's going to flip it, and as you can see, um, we're blitzing it from the other side, and we're going to show you that setup as well um, because you want the um, – you typically want the four side against the most receivers. Right. So – um, we got, we were manned up over there on the bunch and that can kind of disrupt it. Right. Um, so what you want to do, if we show you here in a second, look how fast that comes in. Wow. And we're just showing you in this video against certain single back tr formations with, uh, trips or bunt pistol. Um, look at that. He's going to hit his check down. He just couldn't, um, I mean, there was even cases where we ran it against I form. We didn't put it in this video, but still, the blitz comes in. Right, I think it was I slot. Yeah, or the you know the slot. Um, it does work occasionally, so it's something that you're you know you can definitely have your opponent a little bit bamboozled on. Right. Um, so here it is again. The four, the cover four side is to the right, the man side is to the left, and look at 
you know, our linebackers just coming in. We're user blitzing him. Like I had reads. I felt like I had reads wide open, but I didn't even get time to to throw the ball at all. Like, no. I, yeah, I didn't have a chance. And by the time he'd have to start throwing the ball, I would have been exactly you know at the line at yeah. at the very least. So here's against a bunch, which you think it wouldn't work because of the congestion on the right. Um, it does work actually fairly well. This is a single right. back bunch. Uh, base bunch i think this is a new orleans playbook guys so if you look at it this is why we wanted to leave this in here if it, there's any kind of motion to the right um you don't want to commit fully to your user blitz right. so we're going to show it again um but that's the beauty of user blitzing it because you can identify that and fall back into coverage and that ai blitz tends to run into the lineman like it chips them it chips the lineman and slows the blitz down so right and you won't get the the fire interior pressure so right. here it is again there's our setup or real quick but watch we're able to identify if he motions out i just i don't go ahead see i go out into coverage and then that that situation solved and look the edge pressure still gets in it's right. crazy so, here's another formation, single back. I think this is sing- that was single back trips. And Wentz doubles. is a beast. Excuse me, doubles. Wentz is a beast. Yeah, I don't know how he... I'm an Eagles fan, but... I don't know how he fought that off. <laughs> Madden loves him. Yeah. So, here he motion. It's a manual motion on the play, but he still is able to get in. Okay, so here we're going to run it against split close, a popular formation. Again, I mean, it's... It feels redundant. It's just over and over and over again. Right. We ran this for a good couple hours yeah. against different formations. There, I don't know what <laughs> I faked myself out. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> it's the same exact setup, and we're still user blitzing, more relying on our two man coverages to get him. E- even the man beating routes aren't going to have enough time to develop, like the yeah. zig routes or digs, the corner routes, corner route double moves. Yeah, it's just not going to work. Excuse me. So here, I think I'm going to show you a variation of it. Because your uh, man guy is so close to the line of scrimmage, you can move him inside and occupy the guard. So we're going to hover and just touch this guard and then drop back into coverage. And we left more on his flat seat. Look at that. <laughs> he just threw me. He threw him like a rag doll. <laughs> so here again, we're, we're taking the responsibility rather than getting interior pressure. We're just going to bump. And we're going to drop back into coverage. And the ex- the um, pressure from the side still gets in. Yeah. And that's the thing, guys. You guys, you want to mix it up. And right there, he blocked his running backs. So I went back into coverage. Um, I mean, can't that, get a pick to save my life. I, I, don't, know, I don't know why. You that was know. four guys. That's <laughs> insane. So these particular formations with one wide to the left and a running back, which is what we predominantly run four lock with anyway, it gives you the opportunity to mix up who's going to be uh, occupying that uh, left guard, offensive guard. So here, look, we identified that it was um, the running back was blitz or blocking, and we just went back into coverage. And look, our defensive end gets in. If Bosa, the, if the nickel or, or the linebacker doesn't get in, one of the linemen is gonna, are going to break free. Right, eventually they will. Yeah. So here we go back, and you know we block it so Sherman can get a pick. Wow, and look at how slow look he how is. Slow, unbelievable. Okay, so here's the setup, the second setup, and we're going to show you against gun tight. Um, I don't feel comfortable running four lock generally against gun tight because there's just so much congestion there in the field um, unless you prepare for, you know, your flats to be protected. Right. So that's just personal. Um, but a lot of guys run mesh concepts out of this, um, you know, drags across center, slants. It's the same exact setup. Crash the line outside, you shift it to the right. But if you notice, the free safety isn't to the outside of the defensive end. He's uh, right behind him. Um, it won't matter. Your your opponent's not going to know that. He's not going to know, oh, that's not going to have a clear release. He won't know that. So then you go ahead and um, you man up your X linebacker to the inside um, receiver on his side in case he tries to hit him quick over the top because generally that – uh, free safety is responsible for um, an inside quarter. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're leaving yourself open. That's why we man him up. So we're going to use a blitz more this time. See, it's the same exact setup. You manually press Sherman, and I'm going to try to anticipate the snap. And um, I put myself on a blitz. That's why the first – so the first step is towards the line. 
and I go ahead and get in there. <laughs> Man, nothing. And you and you look at it afterwards. You're like, you had two guys in the center yeah. dragging. You you won't have time for that. I'm, I could be in full throwing motion, and it still wouldn't complete it regardless. Right. right. I was lit- I was honestly trying to score on him with his blitz, and so here we we spied Tart instead. Like let's say. Your opponent isn't. He has a slow tight end. He's not running a, a streak. Right. Well, there he kind of is, but <laughs> yeah. it's, there's just no time, guys. Yeah. So the spy took away any drags from both sides uh, initially. Um. So here we go. We're just gonna continue to show you the blitz with different, um, different. Really, the only thing that's different, guys, in a nutshell, is how you use your user. Right. If, that, if that's even a sentence, user, <laughs> yeah. your user. Say that fast. Look at that. Look at the drum solo. Moore is ready. <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh, he's amazing. I think he has a band in the offseason. <laughs> so here we wanted to show you why sometimes you user blitz. If you've got if you're confident in your protection, if you user blitz, you're gonna be able to fight off the block from a running back. Right, easy. Two buttons and you're there. But right there, they shifted over. Yeah. And I bumped him and then ran off into coverage. So you can break off the blitz if it's not going to work out for you. You still got the edge pressure coming in, and it's still going to be five on five. Yeah. So somebody might squeak in. They're not going to be able to double team a great uh, defensive end that you have, or you a defensive two tackle. Basically, superstars on that right side. Right against superstar linemen. That's why yeah. we picked the Eagles, like we said. I mean, look at the their offensive line is arguably the best in the game. Yeah. That's why we wanted to show you the blitz against the Eagles. So here, look, just. It opens up so much. The only thing we found that it doesn't is if they do play action. But this year, pl- the edge pressure is going to get to them. Yeah, I mean, nobody no, runs play action. No one runs play action because um, the line, the blocking assignments are different for the linemen. Mm-hmm. So that's really the only thing that's going to set you up. Like here, it's a tight formation on the left again. So we're going to have Verrett occupy the guard and just leave that square linebacker into his flat protection. So you're and you can hard flat him. Right. So your quarterback thinks, okay, I'm going to try to ditch it off quick to the flat. Yeah. You're not going to be able to. And it's potentially a pick if you hard flat him. So, look, I bump Wentz. <laughs> yeah, break off of Bosa. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Shrug off Bosa, Wentz. <laughs> Bastard. So this is against Gun Bunch. Um, look at that. We still get in. Yeah, we're just going to go through a bunch of gun formations right now. And Most of the gun formations. Yeah. I mean, it works. It was pretty – yeah. I mean, they have that one like Taysom Hill, and, and yeah, we didn't want, we didn't need to run out of that. No, I mean that's going to be a unique, different defense that you guys are going to have to figure out. Right, um, it blitzes. They're typically going to run with him anyway. Yeah, they're not going to pass, so you don't need all the coverage. Jesus. Yeah, that's just <laughs> fist pump action. <laughs> so, just continuing to show you, you know, the benefits of it. You can you can use her more the, here, and rather than bring the blitz you just touch up the guard and go back into coverage yeah and he covered that angle route right that's what he was going to throw to yeah um here he catches us off guard because typically like i said you want the four the cover four side with the trips right now we're manned up so what we do is we man up our um x linebacker to the zero receiver on that side see how he goes over yeah um you know, a corner route or something like that might get open, but it's so fast in there, guys. Yeah, you could make a case for me trying to throw that ball, whatever. It's wide open. But <laughs> so here we do flip it and run it from the left. So our trying our strong safety is coming in now, and Tart, our X linebacker is going to be the one we use. Are coming in. Look at that. Oh my god. And Wentz, Wentz fights him off again. Wentz is too. Oh, but the coverage is there. Wow, Jimmy that- Ward. I mean, that's Zach Ertz, but okay. No, he's still a Niner. That's okay. Ward is phenomenal. Okay. He's going to earn that contract. So here, like I said, we have time to flip it if he comes out in this trips formation. Um, our man coverage is on the side. We got that pretty much locked up. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. And Tart just gets in <laughs> so nicely. So here I think we're going to run it again, and we're going to show you how you can um, you know, manually or AI blitz him, rather. Oh, right. Um but what what's happens is he will get caught up on the line sometimes if you manually blitz him or AI blitz him, excuse me. So what we're going to do is we manned up more there against the zero receiver and we're going to play coverage, I think, on this one. And we're just going to send Tart, our other linebacker, in manually. No, nope, we uh, user him. I'm okay. sorry. Wow. Get your facts right, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know where we are. 
So look, Moore guards him well enough to oh get in there. God. And look at D Ford. And the celebration. It's a horrible oh running God. animation. It looks like he <laughs> crapped his pants. It's horrible. So um, this is just against a different – it's doubles. Doubles gives Forlock trouble because it's so spread out. Um, but the blitz will still work. Right. So if you want to run the blitz, uh, you can do so. Um, look at that. Moore just gets in so fast. I mean, I just feel like we're saying it over and over. but. Yeah. It's really effective, guys. So here we – I think, yeah, the, he leaves the running back in to cover. Now here's the thing. Again, like I just said, doubles is kind of hard with four lock because two men are on an island and there's a lot of space. If you're able to notice that that slot receiver is a Deshaun Jackson um, – is that his name? Deshaun. Deshaun. Excuse me, <laughs> Deshaun. Wow, I tried to get too, too cool with it. Um <laughs> Deshaun Jackson, Deshaun Jackson, uh, uh, Tyreek Hill, your Brown, uh, Goodwin. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to user that. So we went ahead and go back to our usual responsibilities. We're going to user that route um, and guard him. And we just sent uh, more on the AI blitz. So as you'll see, he still can see he doesn't quite come in as clean. Right, yeah. As if you user blitz him, but he still shadow boxes. He still feels like a little kid. It's great. <laughs> So look, I'm I'm able to jam Deshaun that time. See? Yeah. So they're able to get in quicker. Um so there's arguments for both sides. You can user blitz it, but then if you have a real fast uh receiver on that side, you're kind of leaving yourself a little bit exposed if they are able to call a route to beat it. So it's up to you guys how you want to user it. Um so here's just an, against another formation. Um I think it's a trips. Yeah. But so here, like I said, I think we're going to use a verrette. We're going to come inside the defensive end there um, and touch up that guard. Oh, yeah, you've only got that running back. So. That's it. <laughs> and you have flat protection if you want. Nope, here we're going to just stay on the outside um, and guard the running back ourselves. And look, oh Moore comes God. in and Mosley. He fakes out Mosley. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know how my lineman didn't pick that up. And look up. at Bosa. And, oh, my God. He crapped his pants too. Um, Wentz is so fleet footed. That's crazy. So here's, I think the last play we're going to show you, um, out of this. So Verrett's free to go out and use her like he should in a normal play. Nope. One more. Um, so oh, yeah. it's completely up to you guys. What you want to do? I remember this guard. Look, we, yep, we touched him up and then we went back into coverage and got a pick. <laughs> and I had the angles. No, no. You know, Okay. And I wasn't telling Darius what I was going to do, right. who I was blitzing with, nothing. So um, this is the – we're going to show you the setup one more time before we check out of here, guys. Um, again, you typically want two receivers on the left. Um, if it's flipped, then you can flip it. But right. we're going to show you how to do the setup flipped um, because you're going to have that tight end on the right. You don't right, want to yeah. – um, you generally want the four side to the trip side. But that's neither here nor there. Same thing. Crash the line outside. Shift the line to the right. That safety comes down. You blitz him. Then you contain. I think we're going to contain here. Yep. yep. Then your three wreck is completely on an I mean, he has no responsibility. Yeah. So you're going to go ahead and man him up to an inside receiver or spy him or hook curl him. Something different. Something, anything other than a three rig. Right, yeah, because it's not going to play well because it just doesn't work well. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to manually press the your um, manned up uh, corner. And look, Tart gets in there. Wow. Yeah, there was nothing open, guys. Yeah. So that's basically what we wanted to show you. We're going to show it to you one more time um, a little faster. Um, but this blitz will work. If you implement it, go into practice mode, play around with some different um, formations. You're going to see um, it's very effective, flipped or not flipped. Um, depends on where you want to put your user. You can really throw your opponent off. It's not a I mean, meta send everybody and just right, yeah. go into coverage. You can do a lot of different things. So Lockdown up top. Thanks, guys. Closing thoughts. One last time to talk some trash Before we are done with this show Closing thoughts 
We gonna run a mouse before you guys decide you're gonna click off. Well, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Um, hope it works well for you. Um, so, yeah, nobody's here. <laughs> no, uh, no company retreat, not a soul, except for Paul. Paul pulled up. He's like a recycler. He offered us a lift on the scooter. We're going to try and squeeze on there, yeah. I hope. He's been sitting there for like 10 minutes. We haven't even acknowledged him yet. I don't know. But, yeah, we're going to take a lift. and we'll see. Um, you know, thanks again for bringing us out here, JP. Ah, joke's on us. <laughs> um, all kidding aside, thanks, JP. Uh, we love coming out here. Hopefully your viewers like us. Guys, there's... um. The setups are in the description. A link to our page, Always Tipping, is in the description. Mm -hmm. Come over and check out our channel as well. Um, maybe we'll have JP on our channel and just throw stuff at him or something. <laughs> Whatever. It'll be fun. So um, remember, guys, we always tipping. Never tricking. Hey. How about a hug? <laughs> <laughs>